This is a tutorial video for fading an LED with your Mintronix pack using the Outlet Flexion. You will need a 9 volt battery snap, a 100 ohm resistor, a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor labeled with a 104, a 2N3984 NPN transistor, one LED, a 2950 3.3 volt LDO voltage regulator, mini breadboard, wire, and an outlet flexion. Place the voltage regulator in the first pinhole in the third row of the bottom section of the breadboard so that the non-flat side of the voltage regulator is facing the larger part of the breadboard. Take the battery snap and place the red wire into a pinhole below the rightmost pin of the voltage regulator. Now place the black wire into a pinhole just below the middle pin of the voltage regulator. Next, take the 2N3984 NPN transistor and place it in the 8th pinhole of the second row of the bottom left section of the breadboard with the non-flat side facing the upper part of the breadboard. Cut a 2 inch piece of wire and strip both ends. Place this wire so that it goes from a pinhole just above the middle leg of the voltage regulator to a pinhole just below the leftmost pin of the transistor. Next, take the capacitor and place it in the two pinholes just below the leftmost and middle legs of the transistor. The capacitor is reversible, therefore it does not matter which direction it is placed on the breadboard. Now take a fully assembled outlet flexion and connect one of the wires into a pinhole just below the middle leg of the transistor. Take the remaining wire and connect it to a pinhole just below the leftmost leg of the voltage regulator. Like the capacitor, the outlet flexion is reversible. Next, bend the legs of a 100 ohm resistor, identified by the color bands brown, black, brown, and gold, and place one leg in a pinhole just below the rightmost pin of the transistor and the other leg in the sixth pinhole of the third row of the lower right side of the breadboard. Notice that the LED has one leg longer than the other. The long leg is positive and the short leg is negative. Place the LED on the breadboard so that the shorter leg is in the sixth pinhole of the second row of the lower right side of the breadboard, which is the same column as one of the resistor legs. The longer leg should go into the fourth pinhole of the second row of the lower right side of the breadboard. Take another wire about two inches long and place it in the pinhole just above the leftmost pin of the voltage regulator. Connect the other end of this wire to the fourth pinhole of the first row of the lower right side of the breadboard. Snap in your 9-volt battery and have fun.